so solution solution okay so this function is w w so uh, w right w is equals to e to the x cos y plus i sin y close okay we know that uh, so we know that we know that uh, w is equals to u plus iv as a complex function uh, so uh, so first of all so let's multiply multiply e with everything which is inside there so that w is equals to e to the x cos y plus i e to the x sin y like that okay which implies that u will be equal to the first part or the real part this part e to the x cos y and v will be equal to uh, the other imaginary part v equals to e to the x sin y like that okay so the coach Riemann is equation uh, coach Riemann is equation here yeah. so first of all let's find the partials let's find all the partials the first one will be uh, u differentiated with respect to x so this one uh, this one is only this part so change this part only so we have e x c cos y just like that and then we go to the other part which is u with respect to y u with respect to y this u with respect to y is equals to uh, the first part you just write the way it is as e to the x cos cos goes to sign so it should be sign and then there will be negative before it like that okay so let's write v so let me let me rub this part here okay i cancel this part so that i have, I have v here v of x in fact v of x v of x so differentiate v with respect to x here is v only this part so this part doesn't change you have e to the x sine y and then so v with respect to y so this one becomes e to the x cos y okay so uh, the two conditions that needs to be satisfied is now the first one has to be u is differentiated with respect to x u with respect to x is equals to v with respect to y and also u differentiated with respect to y should be equal to the negative of v differentiated with respect to x like this okay these two this and also that one so what do we have so this part here uh, this one particularly is this one so write e to the x e to the x cos y is equal to so the second part now is equal to this part is exactly what you have here like that so these two are equal these two are equal so the first condition holds and also the second condition look at what you have this uh, this this one here this one this one so it has a negative and e to the x sin y close should be equal to the negative of vx so the negative here the negative of, then what is vx 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 is here this one here what you have here so you write e to the x uh, sin y like that close and then this negative the negative will multiply with uh, i mean yeah this negative will multiply with what you have inside there like that so that you have negative e to the x sin y should be equal to negative e to the x sin y as well so 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 these two are equal these two are equal so the second condition holds mm. therefore uh, w or the original function w or the original function um, uh, satisfies satisfies satis, uh, satisfies the Riemann is uh, the Riemann the couch Riemann is equation okay couch Riemann is equation okay okay so uh, let's find the derivative of the function 
uh, so uh, f prime of z f prime of z is equals to u differentiated with respect to x plus i v differentiated with respect to x as well like this but uh, our ux our ux is uh, from the previous week it's uh, e to the x uh, cos y cos y plus i plus i e to the x sin y e to the x uh, sin y sin y close okay now mm, if you look closely uh, okay so we have e x here e x here and there so we can factor it out as e x then what remains we write as cos y plus i sin y i sin y okay so i sin y close okay so therefore um, f prime of z f prime of z is equals to e to the x e to the x open cos y plus i sin y just as the original equation